What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work your lady. This story's called, I do work here, but I don't work here. Okay, so I've browsed this subreddit for quite a while and I decided to give my story a go. Let's meet the cast of this tale. Me, Karen, the Karen formerly known as a decent human being, stand worker, security guard. This all happened this past summer while I worked at a baseball stadium. This was during a game as the team made a push for the playoffs. The ballpark was packed, not sold out, but definitely could have been. I worked as a warehouse worker. My job was to get an order from the concession stand, load up all the stuff they need, cups, condiments, frozen foods, candies, etc., and send them off to said concession stands. We mostly do this before the game starts, but there are circumstances where they run out of a certain product during the game, which were commonplace. On this day, I had an order from a portable stand, so I did everything as usual. Load up a card full of what was needed, get it signed off, and made my way toward the concourse. I made sure to be careful to make sure I don't hit any fans on my way there. Once I got to the portable, I gave him his order and stocked it for him as he was busy with customers. Behind the stand was a pretty good view of the field, and sometimes I stopped to watch the game. It wasn't interesting, just a stolen base. But it was at least fun to watch the fans high-five one another when it did occur. Just before the player stole the base, I heard a loud, Ahem! Of course, I ignored it, not thinking it was for me. Just as the stadium cheered loudly, I faintly heard a louder, Ahem! Again, I pay it no mind. Finally, I turn around to go back to the warehouse where I saw her, Karen Micken Titletimer. She looked like a cross between a stereotypical Karen and a normal, decent woman. Long blonde hair, sunglasses too big for her face, neon pink lipstick, a sparkly pink baseball jersey with hideously matching hot pink yoga pants, black high heels, and a scowl that would even make the Grim Reaper shudder in fear. Accompanied by her is a little 10-year-old boy who mostly stayed quiet during this whole thing. Finally, now you can open the snow cone stand. I looked to the left of me, which was the snow cone stand, indeed closed. I'm sorry, ma'am, but the stand is closed. I know that. Now you're here to so open it. I was a bit dumbfounded. Ma'am, if you want a snow cone, there might be an open stand in the upper concourse in the fourth floor. Why would we go all the way up there? You're here. Open the stand and get my son a snow cone. Uh, I apologize, ma'am, but I don't work here. Don't lie to me. Yes, you do. You have the badge and everything. It was true. I was wearing the employee badge and a blue shirt with the team logo. I should point this out because the uniforms for each department are different. The uniforms for the concession stand are either green or have their own corporate branding, i.e. Papa John's. If anyone was wondering, the snow cone stand was a Bahama Bucks, and I'm not wearing any Bahama Bucks branding anywhere. Well, yes, I do work here, but I don't work here. I made sure to put extra emphasis on do and here. Stop lying, just serve me! This isn't my department. You're just being a lazy slacker. Kids these days have no respect for us elders. I'm only 20 years old, and she doesn't look older than 35. Uh, ma'am, he's telling the truth. Don't stick up for him! Look, believe me or don't, I have to get back to work. I get behind the carts and was preparing to push it back to the warehouse when suddenly Karen blocks my path. The innocent kid covers his face, wanting to just be a baseball and be hit out of here. He won't going anywhere until you give my son a snow cone. Lady, what's your problem? I said I don't work in the stand. Yes, you do. Stop being lazy. Open up the stand and give me and my son some damn snow cones. And they better be free now with how rude you were. Lady, he said he doesn't work here. Stay out of this popcorn, boy. Suddenly, everyone was watching this crazy lady go crazy all because a snow cone stand was closed. The stand worker, who I delivered the stuff to, radioed for security. I can have you fired for being a lazy shiitake mushroom. For the last time, this isn't my department. Lazy Anne's rear-ended. Why did this team hire you? You don't deserve to work here. 
Suddenly, a security guard came in behind her. I personally knew her. She always was very kind and nice, but she took her job seriously and can be sassy when you get up in her business. Is there a problem here? Karen turned around and threw her hands in relief. Oh, thank goodness you're here. You need to take him away. This radish couldn't do his job properly. The security guard looked at me. I only waved at her, which caused her to smile. And what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, no, don't ask him. Just take my word for it. I was just doing my job, delivering to the stand, and I was suddenly blocked off by this lady demanding I open a stand I never worked for in my life. He's lying, he does work here. You can ask anyone here. You can ask the stand worker over here if his words don't match either of ours. Don't bother asking him, he's just a dumb popcorn boy. I'm gonna have to ask you to be quiet or else I'll escort you out of the ballpark. This seemingly shut her up. This seemingly shut her up. Then security guard talked to stand worker. Go ahead and tell your side of things. OP just came in and delivered some stuff to me. He then was about to leave when this lady just demanded he open the stand. You dumb kids, telling lies to cover your asses. Okay, that's it, ma'am. I'm afraid you'll have to come with me. No, you can't believe these lazy kids. I did nothing wrong. You disturbed the peace and halted these two from working. Now, come on. She then takes the woman off as she keeps screaming about how it's my fault because I'm so lazy and didn't do my job right. I shrugged it off and went back to work. I thought that would be the end of it until about a half hour later when I heard screaming. I peeked out toward the tunnel leading toward the concourse to see Karen in handcuffs being led up the tunnel by police while her son walked next to them looking quite humiliated. She was also screaming about how she didn't do anything wrong. She spots me and turns even more red than before. You! You did this to me! I'll sue your ass! I only looked on in bewilderment when I saw the security guard walking up to me. I asked her what the heck happened after she took Karen away. Turns out, as she whisked her away, Karen shoved her away and even spat on her. She ran off and hid in the crowd only to be spotted instantly. It was quite easy, being decked out in pink made her stick out from the crowd like a sore thumb. She was quickly arrested. I don't know on what exact charges, but I can guess it's for assault on security guard. Disturbing the peace in multiple counts of rack care and tearing. This all most likely will end in her being permanently banned from the ballpark. And all of this happened for a freaking snow cone. Dealing with entitled people is not what anyone had in mind when going to watch America's pastime. Oh, and for those who are into baseball, our team won the game and made the playoffs. A satisfying ending from a Karen's wrath. Thanks for reading. I will say this. Um, can you really blame the Karen here because nothing is is quite as refreshing as a snow cone on a really hot day. I don't know about y'all, but anytime I eat ice cream, I get super thirsty, so a snow cone on a hot day is way better than ice cream, because that stuff actually kind of quenches your thirst and it's refreshing. Obviously, I'm joking. There's no excuse for acting that insane, but snow cones are pretty good. This story's called, Shouldn't You Be In School? I'm 26. I work at a restaurant. My shift is from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Jeez. One morning, I was cleaning the tables and taking out the rubbish when this rude, middle-aged woman came up to me. Excuse me, sir. You are far too young to be working here. Why aren't you in school? In her fairness, I do look younger than my age. I am blessed with a baby face. Before I could explain that, I was, in fact, 26 years old, and I left high school the better half of a decade ago. She she wouldn't let me get a word in, she just kept on going saying, You are throwing your life away by being a high school dropout, and you will end up stupid living on the street. My manager noticed and came over. He said, Excuse me, but what is going on? The lady replied, Why are you hiring kids who are 13 or 14 years old? I'll call the cops because what you are doing is against the law. My manager was like, Ma'am, she's in her mid-twenties and has been working here for five years. If you're in here just to harass my employees, then I suggest you leave or I'll call the cops. I thought that would be the end of it, but no. You know how Karens are. They never admit they're wrong and just can't let things go. This woman's response was, It's obvious you'd say that because you want to cover up your own ass. 
that's when I lost my cool. I got up and went into the staff room area we had out the back. I got my driver's license and my ID that had my date of birth. I went back out into the dining area and put my driver's license right up in her face and said, Don't you dare assume how old I am. You're right, people should go to high school and everyone needs an education, but I already graduated high school eight years ago. She was shocked and she just left. My manager thought it was funny, so I didn't get in trouble. While I'm sure there are those that can appreciate the, the thought, but <laughs> I guarantee the Karen wasn't trying to better this woman's life, but just try to, I don't know, shame her or shame everyone, make everyone feel bad about themselves for some reason. Because if she genuinely cared, then she would have just backed off. This story's called, Today I fudged up by telling my 35-year-old wife that she looks hot in a 20-year-old picture. So this happened last night, and I'm not sure how this is gonna end. I'd like to begin by stating I am not a perv. That being said, I may have done something pervy and I now hate myself. This screw-up is innocent enough, I think, but the implications are terrible. I'll let you be the judge. So yesterday, my lovely, beautiful 35-year-old wife went to her grandmother's house to help clean out her old room. She lived with her in her high school years because her mother moved away and she didn't want to change schools, so she stayed. Her room at grandma's had gone pretty much untouched since she moved in with me 16 years ago. Anyways, she got home late last night and was very excited to show me some of her treasures for decades past that she recovered from her childhood bedroom. Unfortunately, her show and tell session coincided with a playoff game, so she did not have my undivided attention, even though the time Titans clearly had it in the bag. You have to watch until the end just in case. She showed me her sketchbook. Very nice, dear. You could have been an artist. An article she wrote that was published in a local newspaper. Wow, babe, you could have been a journalist. Fumble! And some other stuff. Then she breaks out a dusty old photo album from the good old days of disposable cameras. I got a detailed history of every picture of her, her friends, her siblings, people she doesn't even remember, places that no longer exist. I was not paying attention. I'll admit that. She flipped through page after page as she sat beside me on the couch and I glanced at the pictures and gave my obligatory, that's nice, or wow, look at that, response. Everything was going peachy until she flipped the page and said, This is a picture of me at the beach. And I glanced, and it was her in a bikini. Her, my wife, in a bikini. I said, Damn! And looked back at the TV. Silence from her. I feel something is wrong. I can feel her eyes on the side of my face. I said the wrong thing. What did I do? I risk a peek at her face. She is shocked. I have obviously grown a grotesque second head on my shoulder because the look on her face could not be the result of anything less. What? I ask stupidly. What the hell does that mean? I show you a picture of me when I was 15 freaking years old and you say, damn, you find that freaking attractive? You are disgusting. I have no answer. I just kind of look at her wishing she'd just start laughing and let me know she's messing with me. But no, the same expression of rage and disappointment. I don't know what to do. I kind of stuttered out, B but but it, it's you, y you know, younger, I guess, but you're hot. I'm, I'm sorry, you've always been hot. What the hell am I supposed to say? She tells me that the little girl in the picture no longer exists, that it's not her, but a memory, and that I'm a weirdo. I have nothing to say. I just want this conversation to be over. There are four minutes left in the fourth quarter. I get the brilliant idea to say, look, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Let me see the picture again. I'm sure you aren't hot. Smooth. I won't go into too much detail about the rest of the conversation, but suffice it to say that I am sleeping on the couch and should apparently be on a list of folks to keep an eye on. All I wanted to do was watch football. Edit. I should add, her grandmother is being moved to hospice care. She does not normally react this way, but I think she is under a lot of stress. Also, I have read your comments and agree that this has more to do with me ignoring her than me thinking she was a hottie at 15. She needs me to be there to listen to her, and I blew it. Thanks for your feedback, though. It's a lot to think about. Edit to Hooray! I made the front page. I wanted to update the folks who seem genuinely interested. My wife and I talked about it. We are doing just fine now. 
she's not crazy, not a bench, and we're not getting a divorce. Some of you also suggested her reaction may have been the result of past trauma. She assured me this is not the case. She's just stressed and was angry with me. Lastly, fellas, please stop suggesting that I did nothing wrong because you think it's perfectly natural and okay to be attracted to teenage girls. It's not. I don't care how developed they are. Stop it. Final edit. Sorry if I ghosted you guys. I took some of your advice and have been giving my wife my undivided attention. I'm not used to this amount of attention or scrutiny, and honestly, it's been a mixed bag. It's Reddit. I asked for it. But now that I've got it, I feel kind of like a young actress who wanted a private meeting with Harvey Weinstein. So I'll try to read your 4,000 comments and reply to anyone who I feel might be waiting for one. But not now. Thanks for your support and advice. Thank you for mocking, trolling, and ridiculing me as well. It's all in good fun, I hope. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.